Noob noob, I heard you're a thirsty girl. No, I'm a thirsty sword lesbian. No, you're just thirsty for the PlayStation Showcase. Oh. Butter. Oh, here we go. The PlayStation Showcase 2021, including everything that got announced and even some things that didn't. Yeah. Maybe. It happened at some point in time in September. Oh, September 9th. Okay, so it wasn't that long yesterday. ago. Yesterday. It was yesterday. We are on Not this. Not that we're releasing this video tonight. We might be. Breaking Maybe we news. are. Who knows? It I, could be tomorrow for all you know. What I do know is I have to pee. Oh, we could have already handled this a while ago. Well. Isn't Insomniac a good game maker or are they a absolutely. bad Absolutely. Absolutely. First okay. off, they make the greatest game series of all time. Oh my God. If you say Last of Us. Ratchet and Clank. Oh, okay. I thought Naughty you were going to say Last, Last of Us. You fucking Woo. scrub. Maybe nervous there. Ratchet and Clank, son. All right. Well, that Drift means they're going to make a weird Wolverine then. <laughs> okay. So let's actually get to the news. Uh, we did talk about this in our... It, we actually latest episode yeah in our latest episode yeah right wherever noob noob's pointing so in our latest episode we did react to the ragnarok trailer and we are in we are so in we were in like yep, flynn you should be in everybody should be in i am in to watch my friend i was gonna mr. say you fatty. didn't beat it his nickname is mr fatty i'm gonna watch him play it like i did the original one because i'm scared of monsters <laughs> but uh you were like dope. atreus actually atreus is is braver than you maybe when he beats the game 100 percent and he unlocks god mode i will replay it with infinite health but only if you're invincible yeah no for sure I, and I don't all the scary monsters will just die with one hit yes uh. i want to feel the power of a god <laughs> yes but it looks awesome they released a uh i guess it's not really a gameplay trailer no, no, it was uh, gameplay. there was some gameplay, gameplay slash cinematic trailer you're right you're right there was it looked like there's some interactive cutscenes and all the other good stuff i just the storyline's amazing i wanted to keep going i want to see this it was a great director great puzzles all of it great yep. let's see more for sure for sure now this one was confusing because i thought not that confusing i thought it was a rehash of um Spider-Man, Spider I two. thought, it, yeah, like, no, no, I thought it was, like, a remake of the original Spider-Man 2. Which was the best Spider-Man game ever made up to Marvel's Spider-Man, which that is, is an Insomniac game. Yes, oh, okay, so Insomniac made that, so they can be trusted. Yes. So this is a sequel, according to him. Third one in Insomniac game, so they did Marvel's Spider-Man, then they did Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, which, is which not came a, out. not really a thing, but It's yes. like a, I mean, it's, it's a decent game. Yeah. It's not a new game. It's just an add-on. It's like a new skin game. Uh, Special skin. It had game. a whole story. Like, it was a good, meaty story. It had okay. 20-hour story. That's not a lot, but sure. So, and then they're coming out with Marvel's Spider-Man 2, which includes both Peter Parker's Spider-Man and Miles Morales' Spider-Man, with an interesting villain. Ooh. Venom. And the best part is that Venom will be voiced by Tony Todd. I may have to play this. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, Tony Todd voicing Venom is great. That just, he has such he's such a great actor, such a menacing voice. I'm It'll be amazing. I'm, I'm hoping, pretty stoked. I'm hoping that there's Black Suit Spider-Man somewhere and there's got to be. There's Well, I don't understand though. Why would Venom hate Miles Morales? Like I understand why he hates Peter Parker in the comic books, but why would he hate Miles Morales? It's other more than their so friends? I think Miles Morales is just going to help Peter Parker, so he's going to be Fair like, "Well, if you're helping him, fuck then you." You're dead too. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be good to see a villainous take on Venom, which uh unlike the movies that we're getting where he's the anti-hero which is not as exciting to me as the actual villain venom star wars knights of the old republic remake for ps5 is so that's where i was confused because they're doing a remake of this but they, they are. weren't doing a remake of the spider-man game nope. that i thought they were doing this is a straight remake of one of the best star wars games ever made did you ever play uh way back when for a little bit yes i beat it it's amazing darth revan all that good i can't this is really good but there's one caveat with this and this was discovered and people are upset and Saber i understand why this is from bounding into comics uh, the former the mary sue writer and social justice activist oh, sam no. mags is working on star wars knights of the old republic no. why do you have to change perfection 
you could this is one of the games where it was very inclusive because you could make love to anyone you wanted Damn if you it. wanted to make love to a robot you could make love to a robot if you wanted to make love to a man i feel like you could make love to a man you could be you could be and do whatever you wanted it was such a fantastic game the things that you said mattered you cared about the story i from what i remember this was just a fantastic game now the it might be a little weird because I guess it was like kind of like a role playing, not like a. It wasn't an RTS. It was like a. It was weird because it, it's not exactly an action game. Like it's a little different. Yeah. Well, I forget what type of game you call that, but yeah. RPG. It, sort of like you know how you like it's sort of like you take turns hitting guys. Turn based. Yeah, I think this it was, wasn't a turn based game. No, it was real time turn based though. It was the action was. From what I recall, it was. You were not. No, it's you not. You weren't an, fighting people. Not really? really. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a real time. So it was not like Kingdom Hearts, where it's an action it RPG. It was not. It was before Kingdom Hearts, so that didn't exist. Like an action RPG didn't exist yet. Oh, maybe I never played this then. Yeah, this is really old game. Like it, I, you might not have played. Do you remember Darth Revan? Mm. Unless I'm wrong, which I don't think I am. I could be. I could have swore this was an action game. Hmm. That's now a good I'm question. curious. I need to look up gameplay for this later. I on. could have swore that KOTR was the. Uh, let's see. When my, when, oh, when will my favorite Star Wars game get the collector's edition? I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I could have swore this was the Darth Revan one. This is the one that people wanted them to make movies about, and they they didn't. But maybe you tell us in the comments. Is Noob Noob wrong? Is Z wrong? Who knows? I don't Just know. Just let me control a lightsaber and uh, I'm good. That's Pretty all sure I want. sure you can do plenty of lightsabering. But let's go back. We'll, we won't just the new, there. There's a new game announcement. Ooh this is also wee. from Insomniac Games. So I have high hopes. This Wolverine. Could, yeah. I think, it, yeah, hack and slash. Is that what it is? Oh, no, wait. That's a different game. But either way, I'm ex I think that could be cool. They, I think they'll do Insomniac a good job. Insomniac Games clearly has a good track record. They've yeah. shown they can handle Marvel properties. They can show they can handle action RPGs. They, I mean, this looks awesome. And they usually get really good voice actors too. So they do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm down. The story usually has some sort of, you know, I can't imagine this being anything at the worst case, just okay. Yeah. So, okay to amazing. But that's exciting that like these first player games that have, you know, people were thinking were dying off or getting new life, and especially with Insomniac handling. And that's why you should buy a PlayStation over an Xbox. Yes, obviously. There's um <clears throat> Project Eve, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Don't know. Apparently it looks gorgeous and I like hack and slash stuff. Yeah, because they're easy peasy for you. To win back Earth, the survivor of the paratrooper squad must fight their powerful enemies. So powerful. So it looks like it's just the smashy buttons. Smashy, Tina's, smashy. T uh, Tiny Teens Wonderland gameplay. That's uh, a spinoff of Borderlands. Okay. I don't necessarily give a shit about that. So Tiny Tina fans, I'm sure, will like this movie. Game. Game, yeah. But uh, no no thanks for me, dog. But we were pretty excited. I mean, what was exciting was to be excited for. So Yeah. For spoken, don't know what that uh, is. Dragons, magic, and story. Uh, don't okay. Know. Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uncharted Four is getting a remaster. Uh, okay. Yeah, seems I like mean, a cash grab. Yeah, Uncharted Four looked pretty great on PS4, so I don't know if I need to play it on PS5, but it's still nice. Rainbow Yancy Six. Clancy. Eh. 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 Alan Al Wake. So here remaster. we go. Alan Wake. Re Alan Wake is one of the best horror games ever made. The, yeah, it's fucking great. I love Alan Wake. I wish I was playing Alan Wake in the mountains later this weekend. Alan Wake so you is, can pee your pants. is fucking. I lo oh no, I haven't played this myself. I watched my friends play. Oh, okay, I so you did pee bitch. your pants. <laughs> yeah, no, it's scary. <laughs> but this, scary this is one me. of the. Uh, I love it. I still quote it to this day. It's great. You quote it? You yeah, no, it's got some great lines. In Give it. me one quote. You got two pills in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm. Okay. Well, that's yeah, the thing. I didn't never play that game, but I heard good things. You should play. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online 5. I don't understand. Bro, what just fucking make Grand Theft Auto 6. They're not please. going to. So. Dear Lord. What, are they going to remaster it again or Grand something? Grand Turismo 47 will be out before Grand Theft Auto 6. Well, they're already in Grand Turismo 7, so they only got 40 more to go. Yeah. So, that's a game. 
Uh, Ticha is the game inspired. Wow. Let your soul jump into animals. No. Don't thanks. know what that is. Don't care. Ghostwire Tokyo looks pretty dope. It's first person, so I'm not oh. super into that kind of game, but uh, I wish it was third person, but it's like a first person action horror movie game slashy looks thing. That's cool. I don't know what it is. Guardians of the Galaxy gets a sassy new trailer. Ooh. Yeah. Is that like, uh, what kind of game is that? Who knows? I forget. Who knows? Death Loop looks cares? pretty good. You die a lot and it's in a loop. A lot you know, of looping. It's coming out soon. It's coming out in a couple days. Shit. Free to play. Shit. Radiohead. Okay. Yeah. Kid A Amnesia Exhibition. Sure. All that really matters is what we saw at the top. Yeah, basically the top three are Top the money three are makers. worth it. That's, that's all that War, matters. Buy a PlayStation just for that. One, I bought a PlayStation just for that. Marvel Spider-Man 2, buy a PlayStation just, just for, for that. that. Have a second PlayStation just for that. Then... Uh, this is the this is the question mark. The Knights of the Republic could be good, could be decent. You know, hopefully it's, it's an action RPG, not turn-based, because fuck that shit. Then the brand new game, Marvel's Wolverine, could be as awesome as Spider-Man, so I have high hopes. Yeah. So leave in the comments whether or not we're right or wrong about KOTOR. I'm pretty sure we are because it's an old-ass game, but I could be wrong, so correct us in the chat. Make sure you uh, subscribe. We could always use those. Share this video for those of you who need more LARFs in their life. And uh, make sure you uh, listen to our full-length audio podcast. You can catch it here on YouTube streaming live, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or catch it anywhere where you can get your podcast, including the places where Joe Rogan has podcasts. We also have Instagram, O-R-K underscore you. And subscribe there and give it a like, or Noob Noob will do this to I the like I will grow button. out my fingernails longer than Wolverine's claws, and then go into your butthole and scratch your hemorrhoids. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. It depends on how sharp I make my nails. Oh my gosh. Could you tickle them until uh, completion? I will go into your small or mid, mid-range intestines and play around. Oh my gosh. Might get you pregnant. That sounds extraordinary. So from all of us here at Our Reviews, we'll kill you to all of y'all at home. And from Noob Noob and Z, we're clearly on to the next one. <laughs>